All right, don't say that little flies like this can't catch big fish. Look at that bend. Holy crap. Holy crap. So before we go fishing today, I'm going to tie up a fly that has been super successful for many different fish this season. I started with painting a little 1 32nd ounce jig head yellow, just using some nail polish, and I'm going to wrap some bucktail hair around it using chartreuse thread. I'm going to make this one using contrasting colors, so I think orange and chartreuse will look good against a yellow head. And I'll add one peacock feather to create a little trailer at the bottom. Now, I just knot it off and finish it by coating it in epoxy. This kind of fly, in combination with squiddy bits, has caught me so many different species of fish. And I'm looking forward to seeing what it'll catch today. I'm fishing on the Little Patuxent, a great spot close to my home in Maryland. And it's springtime here. The wildlife is in full bloom. The world is coming alive after a long winter. It's an amazing feeling being out here in such a vibrant nature setting. All right, so we are here at one of our favorite brackish water spots on the Patuxent River. And I'm here to test out these flies that we tied to kind of show you what they catch and how I use them. So here's my collection. I spent the past, you know, night or two just tying up different, different flies. And I think since the water is pretty muddy here, I think the chartreuse colors work pretty well. So stuff like this, stuff like this, um, I wouldn't go too natural. I think I'm gonna do uh, some contrasting colors to really get them to react to a strike. So chartreuse, red, white, those look good. Just need a little tip just like that. Okay, so here we go with the tandem rig right here. Green and yellow, white and red. And I'm just gonna cast on these shorelines. This is a deep channel right here. Shallower sh shorelines right here. So I'm gonna cast towards the shoreline. Let it sink and bring it back slow. Very simple. And all sorts of fish will come after this. Not one particular kind, but all sorts of fish will hit this. Today we're going for white perch, going for catfish, some food to eat. There we go. That's a nice perch on the home tide fly. Now this is the kind of fish we're looking for. That's a good eating fish. This is called a white perch. That's a good size one too. Caught him right on the shoreline. We're casting on the shoreline because the high tide is pushing him up from the channel onto the hump. So the easiest way is honestly to do a tandem rig, just like this. One weighted jig head on the bottom, one weighted jig head on the top like this. Um, and we tie it with a dropper loop just like this. Um, and this is a, a great way to, to go find locations of fish. It's, you can cover a lot of water at one time. So the tandem rig is nice because you can target all the different water columns depending on how long you let it sink. Whereas the high-low rig or the drop shot rig, you have to pretty much keep it on the bottom. And the, another awesome part about these little jig heads is you really never know what you're going to catch on them. I'm targeting white perch right now, but you know, all sorts of different kinds of fish will eat this. I caught largemouth bass, crappie, striped bass, uh, I've caught walleye, I've caught um, yellow perch, white perch, bluegill, sunfish, you name it. These little, these little jig heads work really well because anything that's going after uh, a little minnow would eat this. And lots of things eat little minnows.
Got him. Too small though, huh? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Holy crap. That is a mega crappie. Holy crappy. Holy crappy. Holy crappy. That's on the little flies too. Awesome. Wow. That's a good one. Let's pitch it right back in there. Beautiful one. Drop it. Sometimes it likes to hit it on the fall down. Sometimes it likes to hit it once it's on the ground. Sometimes it likes to hit it right when you flutter it up. You have to vary the way that you retrieve it. And you'll find out what kind of pattern the fish are into during that day. And it's different, it's different every time. Um, sometimes they want it one way, sometimes they want it another way. Sometimes they want a certain color. And that's really the game of fishing right there is can you understand nature in that deep of a level to be able to uh, what was that? to be able to catch to be able to catch fish means that you have an understanding of the fish behavior of their environment and that's really my favorite part of fishing right there And I really like tying these flies because one, it passes the time, two, it's a, it's a custom jig head for myself, uh, and three, it feels really good to catch fish on the things that you tie yourself. And it's super simple. I learned how to do it like months ago and I just keep doing it. And it's, I'm able to catch so many different kinds of fish on these jigs. Oh, it's point. coming up. It's up for a second. It's pulling, it's pulling. It's pulling the boat. We're going upstream. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Holy cow, this is a big fish. Look at that bed. Holy crap. Holy crap. Isn't it tired? Oh my god. It's still pulling. Oh, it's at the surface.
going under. Brother Carp, I see you. I shall release you as soon as I get you up and get a couple of pictures. There he is, there he is. <laughs> he's coming up, he's coming up. There's Brother Carp. Oh my God. He took the fly right in the mouth. There he is. He's getting tired, but he's still not over. He's still not done. Holy cow. There he is. What a strong fighter. I see you, I see you. I'm coming. Said, nope. Not done. He's not done. Come on. See you. Oh. I'm going to have to grip Oh, my God. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap, Mr. Carp. Thank you for the fight. Wow. There we go. Look at that dude. Oh, what a fight. That was crazy. That was fun. <laughs> we just caught an elephant with a peanut. That was so awesome. It was such a strong fight. 15 minutes of My arm is tired now. Oh my gosh. We're out here fishing for perch. <laughs> I thought it was a big catfish at first. And then I was like, this is not a catfish. It's running way out there. It's on the surface left and right. It's diving. It's, this is not acting like a catfish. Anyways, what had happened was I saw that carp jump. So I was like, I'll cast at it, see what happens. I know it's a carp, but I know that carp will sometimes hit things that look like this. You know, they eat corn. This could look like corn. I don't know, I think I got it to react to it. And you have four pound test on. Yeah, and this line is four pound line. So that was absolutely crazy to fight. I'm just trying to get my, my gear untangled right now. It really messed me up. I had my drag set perfectly. It was going everywhere, left, right, under the boat. I fought it perfectly. Oh, that was so awesome. <laughs> this is why I love fishing. Some days I come out here, nothing. But those days that I do catch fish, it makes it all worth it. That was a perfect example. I mean, we went out and found three pretty nice sized fish on little lures just like that. I caught a nice crappie. I caught a nice white perch. We got a, a big carp on camera. Oh my gosh, that was such a fun fight. It's more rewarding to me because I've tied these flies myself. And it just feels awesome to be able to uh, to get on the fish like that and to hit three different species just like that with, in a matter of a couple of hours. It's a great day of fishing for me. I want to encourage anyone out there to tie your own lures. Tie your own jig heads just like I did. And if you do, let us know. Let me see what kind of fish you catch. Tag us in your posts, whether it be on Instagram or Facebook. I want to see your pictures. I hope this inspired you to try something new. I hope you learned something. And I hope that we made learning easy for you. Because here at Hey Skipper, we want to get as many people on fish as possible. We do this by writing ebooks, 
doing lots of different kinds of tutorials, and this is all within our website, hayskipperfishing.com. If you want to learn more about fishing, we teach many different kinds of fishing, and I actually personally write and create these ebooks, these digital PDFs that um, will help you learn, whether it be surf fishing, pier fishing, how to tie knots, how to tie certain lures, how to tie certain flies, how to tie certain rigs. We've got it all. Check it out, hayskipperfishing.com. If you want to learn a little more detail in detail how to tie these flies, we have a whole series of tutorials on how to tie these flies. And I want to encourage you to watch through the series and learn how to do this. It's a really fun hobby and it's a really awesome way to uh, get a little bit deeper into fishing. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next week.